Now to the final frontier, and stargazers will be in for a special treat tomorrow morning. Yep, three lunar events coming together in an unusual overlap. It's being called a super blue blood moon. NASA scientist Dr. Jim Garvin joins us live now from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. And it's a tongue twister, Dr. Garvin. So what exactly is it, the super blue blood moon, and how do we see it? So this is a special event, and they don't happen that often. It's when the moon is extra close to the Earth in its orbit. <clears throat> that's the supermoon. And when we have a full moon like that, twice in a month, that's the blue moon. And when the moon goes into an eclipse, that is when the, sunlight, the, sun, the sun's light is blocked by the Earth over the moon, that's the final eclipse. And this trifecta, this hat trick at the moon, is all possible because of the dance of the Earth-Moon system. Out west, you can see a total or partial eclipse which is a very special event. The moon will actually be sort of only lit by the light of a bunch of sunsets and sunrises at its, at its edge. Out west, you can see that. Across the middle of the country, you get it partial. And here in the east, of course, we'll just have the big full moon, which is nonetheless a very special event. So go see the moon. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Dr. Garvin. So you say it's something that doesn't happen very often. How rare exactly is it for us to see something like this? Well, the last time we've had this kind of event, this, this hat trick, was about 35 years ago. There'll be another uh, opportunity in 2037. I mean, that's kind of a cool time. Um, there was one back in the 19th century. So these are pretty rare, and they just remind us of our place in space in a very special way. All these events really just make you reflect on how tiny we are yeah. in this <laughs> great vast universe that we live in. Now, of course, for us, it's something really cool to see, but what does this mean for spacecraft orbiting the moon? So we've been in orbit around the moon with our, our United States Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter for eight years. A mission that was to have lasted one has been mapping the moon at the scales our backyards light up in Google, in Google Earth. And so we have Google Moon. And what we've learned is that this moon is a really dynamic, special place, kind of a Rosetta Stone for learning about the workings of all the planets. Has the coldest place in the solar system we found. It has the record of constant cosmic collisions. Mm -hmm. Just a really cool place to get to know. Very neat. Mm -hmm. Google Earth and Google Moon. That is pretty <laughs> awesome. Dr. Garvin from NASA, thank you so much. Looking forward to what we might be able to see just a little bit here of in the East Coast uh, tomorrow morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right. We'll keep an eye out for it.